guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam Crafts, I'm going to share with you a small Michaels and Amazon haul. Let's get started. This is the Rangers Ultra Thick Embossing Powder. It's the clear and transparent one. I got clear and transparent because I'm going to be using these. I'm going to emboss with this powder using my watercolor pens. So that's why I got clear. I needed that. So make sure you tune in for that project. I also got some uh, archival ink. I got a new ink pad. I normally use Versamark, but I purchased some uh, Copic markers and Copic markers do better with archival type ink because Copic markers are alcohol markers as opposed to my Tombos, which are water-based. So this will be for my Copic markers. Now this is the embossing pad. I got an, a clear ink embossing pad with refill and the intent is to use that with my stamps. When I'm making a greeting card, I'm gonna stamp clear and then emboss with clear embossing powder. I can use this either with my Tombow markers because they're water-based, or I can use this with my Copic markers, which are alcohol-based, either one. And these are, this is my latest uh, stamp set that I got from Mindless Crafting. She's a content creator here on YouTube. I absolutely love her channel. Shout out to Tracy and Bill. Um, they started their own line of stamps. So I purchased these and I'm excited to get started with these. I am going to, as I said, I'm going to use these. I'm going to stamp them clear and emboss them clear. And then I'm going to use my, my Tombow markers. I purchased a, a new set. I didn't have this one. I think I have them all now. I think I have the complete set including the pastel colors. So I have the entire set of Tombow markers now, um, but I didn't have the Galaxy, but I have it now. So I'm gonna be using these. These are water-based, not like the Copic, um, not like my Copic markers, which are alcohol-based. Again, I got a project coming up where I'm gonna be using these. I also purchased some rhinestones. I got these from Michaels. These are my go-to rhinestones that I use. Uh, I use these a lot on my main channel, on my home decor channel. Because uh, I like the way they look. They're self-heat adhesive. I do have some that are from uh, the Dollar Tree with the netting on the back. But I prefer the adhesive rhinestones that you can't see through. I think they really make a difference on uh, any given project. Now these were, and I probably should be telling prices. I'll put the prices down below for the other items. This, I believe, I believe this was $11.00 used to be 20 now it's 11 so I, you know I grabbed it when I saw they, they had run out and had been out of them for a while so when I saw that they had them and they were 50% off before my coupon I grabbed these now I got these from Amazon these are rhinestones that I often put on my greeting cards and my gift tags um, or my wall art and things like that I think they're really pretty I think I got 1500 of them in various colors and all every shade of the rainbow um, and these cost ten dollars. And these I got. You know what? I, I don't know if I got. I think I got these from Michael. No, I didn't. I got these from um, online. I got these from Amazon. Turn the other way. I got these from Amazon, and um, I believe they were two dollars. I thought they were pretty. I love those colors. And then I got these. I got these from Amazon. These are um, almost like a chain link. They're a different type of rhinestone. They're on a, they're not open. I don't want to open them. Um, as you can see, they're on like a chain link. Can you see that? They're not on cloth or they're not on plastic. They're on an actual chain. I think you can use this in fabric of uh, clothes design. I thought that was really pretty. I'm excited about using it. And then, of course, this is just an anti-static bag. 
so when I'm making my greeting cards or my tags, I can take and wipe the static off and somewhat control the embossing powder. This was um, this was two ninety nine. This was two ninety nine at uh, Michaels, and they were eight ninety nine on Amazon. I got some artist brushes for my watercolors. I've been, I've been into my watercoloring lately, and um, I thought these were ideal. I have another pen that I use with my markers. It's a watercolor pen as well. And you actually put water inside of it, and it helps you to blend your markers. I love that thing. I've been wearing that out. Um, that was a part of this haul, but I've been using it this week. This is also um, an artist brush, and inside you put water. And it helps you when it helps you blend when you're using your. Um, it helps you blend when you're using your watercolor markers. I love this thing, but I got these too. I got some mini misters. I got these from, these are Rangers, uh, the Ranger Mini Mister. I saw these on P YouTube and Pinterest, and I saw a technique using these that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a try. And then I got some Park Lane stickers, which I will be using for an upcoming craft project. These were $4.99 each at Michaels. One side says, creativity is a journey. And the other side says, make what matters. And I thought that was cool. And this one says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And this says, show me some glitter. I thought those were so cute. But I really like this one, creativity is a journey. It's gold foil. And I also picked up um, from Michaels um, a, heat, a heat tool. You can use them for gift baskets or for uh, embossing. I'm going to be using this to emboss. And this one only costs $15.99. So yeah, $15.99 is what it was costing. The one that I was going to get from well, Michaels was $23.99, but it did have dual temperatures. This does not. It has just one temperature. So you got to be careful with that. Then I also got some foils that I'm going to be using. These foils. And the foils were, I believe this was $15 too. This was on Amazon. You got gold, silver, green, rose gold, and pink. I'm going to be using that with my laminator. And this is the folder. This is the folder that you'll be using when you put, when you're laminating your items. They give you a couple folders to use. My new laminator. <laughs> I'd been wanting a laminator for a while anyway, so when I decided that I wanted to gold foil, when I wanted to foil some script on greeting cards and gift tags, I said, let me go ahead and get it. It was, um, and this is the one with the paper cutter. I have a paper cutter by Fisker, but this one has the swing arm to it, uh, which I thought was really cool because it can handle multiple sheets at a time. So that's the reason that I got this. I believe this was 60 nine dollars which is a little expensive for something that I don't use every day but again the reason I got it was for this paper cutter that can cut extra that can cut multiple sheets of paper at least more than my my uh, Fisker pen. so I'm excited to use this and to laminate some script that's gonna be fun I also got some Gina K Thermaweb the terrific tape this is the half inch tape. Uh, it says it's easy to tear, double-sided, permanent adhesive. I saw her using this on her channel and I decided to purchase it so I have some of that too. Um, I'm going to be using this in card making. I saw uh, Jennifer McGuire use this to actually go for something so I thought that I'd give this a try. So as I said, I saw Gina K use it and I saw Jennifer Meyer Jennifer McGuire use it, so I thought I'd give it a try as well. And I also got the um, adhesive eraser. It removes adhesive residue. 
loved it. I thought this was ideal. You know how when you get down to the last embellishment on your project and you have glue and you can't get it off? Well, this is supposed to remove that so you don't have to scrap the project. I'm excited about using this. And I also got some Ranger Mini Ink Blenders. I'm going to uh, give these a try. I've never used these before. I've never used the oxide paint and I've never used the blending tools before. So um, this is going to be in an upcoming project. I'm excited about these. You get two and you get two you get four foams and two stampers. And then I ordered another set of replacements, the refills for these. So I'm excited about using these and using the oxide uh, ink to make backgrounds. Yeah, so this is the Ranger Mini Ink Blending Tool. And then these are the inks. I got the um, Salty Ocean, Wild Honey, I get wild honey abandoned coral picked raspberry I didn't know I had this many colors I thought I only had four seedless preserves excited about and salty ocean and like I said I didn't realize I got so many of these I thought it was just four but it's six Ooh. and then I got some more Copic markers I didn't have the pastel set this is the floral uh, floral favorites is what it's called and these are the colors that are in there even though I, I'm pretty certain I'm pretty certain I have that I'm pretty certain these are the, the Copic alcohol markers, and I'm pretty certain I have that coat. But that's okay. It's all right. And those are the numbers. Those are so pretty. I can't wait to color with these. Looking forward to that. And last but not least. From Amazon, I also got some. Um, I got some more embossing powders. I wanted silver and gold, and that's what this is. It's a small one, but that's okay. That's all I need. I don't really need the big one. I have the big. Uh, if you remember earlier, I showed you the really large clear embossing powder. I don't need that much embossing powder. This is good enough. I don't do that much. Uh, this is plenty. Uh, I got silver. I don't want to take them out because they'll start rolling. Silver, and I have gold. I got black. I got red. I think I want to just stand them up so they don't run roll all over the place. <laughs> and I don't have to track down embossing powder. And then I got a blue. I think those are gonna be pretty. I got white. I got another clear, which I don't need, but that's okay. That's okay. And I got a pretty yellow. Look at that. Look at that lemon yellow. I think mean, these are gonna be beautiful in the spring. And then this one is a green. I think that's going to be really, really pretty. I can see doing some leaves in this color. I think that would be really nice. And then they came with a brush that you can swipe it off after you put your embossing powder on. Uh, like a little dusting brush. Which I thought was absolutely cute. These two were the main reason that I purchased these. Is because I wanted gold and silver. So I'm excited to use these to see what they look like. But now that I've got the other colors, I'm excited about that as well. I'm interested to see what um, the green and the red and the yellow and the black. <laughs> I'm excited about them all. I think they're all very beautiful colors. Again, upcoming projects.
tuning in and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my small Michaels and Amazon haul. Hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Make sure you come back and tune in to see how I use these items in my next upcoming project. And also, make sure you check out my main channel, Creative Glam. I will leave a link to Creative Glam down below in the description box. It is a home decor and life and style channel. It's lots of fun and I'm sure you'll find something that you enjoy. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam Crafts. Bye!